Investigator Chuck Sikowski sees the world differently. There's really stuff flying around. There's really animal mutilations that are, you know, that are being done monthly. He's researched dozens of animal mutilation cases, many right here in Colorado. Since 1967, we've had over 10,000 cases across the U.S. Out of all the cases, not all 10,000, but out of those cases that were investigated by law enforcement, no one's ever been caught. A few years ago, he plotted those cases on a map and compared his data with UFO sightings and saw a trend. I started seeing this pattern across the U.S. that there's this you know, events, paranormal events happening. And so it was almost as if there's a paranormal highway. Large clusters of cases run along the 37th parallel. It was a stunning enough find that Zukowski was featured on the Science Channel last summer, but even bigger things are in store. There have been thousands, thousands of cattle mutilations that have never been explained, you know, that there's nobody's ever been arrested for, that nobody knows why or how this is going on. And Chuck is, you know, the expert on this. Author Ben Mesrich likes to write about topics that involve math and science. He's penned bestsellers like Bringing Down the House about MIT students who bust Vegas and Accidental Billionaires, the story behind Facebook. So I'm always intrigued by that really smart people who do something very unusual or who, who break ground or go into that gray area. Chuck's story captured Ben's imagination and he's now writing a book that's also planned to be adapted for a feature film. You can't just walk away from it. You can't just say, well, there's nothing going on here um, because there's just too much evidence that there's something going on. And there's more to the story than just a map of animal mutilations, but Ben can't tell us about it just yet. I don't want to go into too much here yet because it might make it more difficult to write the book, um, but, uh, but there's definitely some overarching conspiracy that needs to be explained. And as for Chuck, he's a little surprised by all of the attention. I stay up late at night thinking about that. You know, I'm always thinking about, God, what have I really done that's that exciting? Andy Cohen, News 5. There you go. Now, Mesrick expects the book to be released next year. He's also working with the Flynn Picture Company, the producers behind the movie San Andreas, for the film adaptation.